What can we expect from uh, Christine Lagarde here? We ask uh, Charles Adams, a former IMF official, now visiting professor at the Lee Kuan Yew School of Public Policy. He joins us uh, from Singapore. Thank you, Charles Adams, for joining us. Uh, plus uh, change, but uh, really, has everything really remained the same? And do we have, essentially, Dominic Strauss-Kahn's policies followed through? I think we have a substantial element of the status quo. On the surface, things look good, a consensus decision, clear indications of support from uh, the IMF membership. But there are some very daunting challenges that uh, Christine Lagarde will face. The first of which I think you, you mentioned, the euro crisis. And what I think is at stake here is the credibility of the IMF in terms of managing that crisis, and then these longer-term issues of appealing and basically making clear that the governance reforms of the IMF remain on track and, will in fact, will be speeded up. Well, that's one of the reasons which uh, was one of the main planks of her candidacy, that she was European and Europe faced the biggest crisis right now. But does she have anything different to put on the table than anybody else? Well, we'll have to see this in terms of managing the euro crisis. I think the hope is that she will be more willing to look at the role of things like debt restructuring to deal with the crisis. But of course, that will put her at loggerheads with some of her colleagues in Europe. But I think this, in terms of the management of the euro crisis, is one critical area. And I think many fund members will be looking to see whether she's willing to address some of those issues. In terms of IMF governance, her messages have been very much attuned to what's been said by her predecessors. But now she has to deal with the problem that there's a perception that we've gone back to status quo. We have the fifth French managing director. We've had this talk about reform of governance, and yet it's not being delivered. So I think she's going to have quite a challenge convincing emerging markets that things will be different. Right, yeah, that's exactly what I was going to ask you next. I mean, her greatest challenge right now is uh, the Eurozone, but looking ahead, it's about reform. It's about also deepening the reform at the International Monetary, F uh, Monetary Fund as well, isn't it? Absolutely. The, these are the critical items looking forward. Now, um, I think it's clear in the very short term she will have to focus on the Euro problems, but she has to make sure that that focus does not crowd out these, these other reform issues. And I think she's probably going to have to confront a certain degree of skepticism about what IMF reform really means. Because for many years, we've had talk of opening up the process for the managing director. We've had talk about having a merit-based process. And this looks awfully much like the past. And she has to clearly signal, if she is going to change, how she's going to do it, how rapidly she's going to do it. And that, that is, I think, what people will be looking for, particularly from Asia. Well, she's got to be impartial here. Can she be? One part of my question. And, uh, well, you know, many of the points that you raise, that the reforms that are needed, are perhaps the reforms which already should be in place right now, but we need to move on from them. Absolutely. Um, on, the, on the issue of impartiality, I think the euro area is actually a good test of that, because there's a perception that the IMF has gone somewhat soft on some of the euro area countries and a perception that the IMF perhaps has been unwilling to push some of the things like debt restructuring against the backdrop of concerns about uh, insolvency and I think Christine Lagarde will have to demonstrate that she's willing to open and expand the box in terms of the measures that are used. If she doesn't do that I think people may well question whether some of the soul-searching the IMF has done in the last decade about crisis management is, is real. On, on the governance reforms, it's very much an issue of saying and trying to convince people, particularly in Asia, that things will be different. And I think that that is going to be tough against the backdrop of this, uh, this process, the way it worked out. Charles Adams, thank you so much for your time. Uh, pleasure having you in the program. Charles Adams there. He's a former IMF official. He's now at uh, the Lee Kuan Yew School of Public Policy.